Deborah, I have a Tony Baptiste watching who did, took it a step further, did not do a $25 seed, but did a $27 seed, watching us right now from Nazareth, Israel, in Israel. What's the word of the Lord to Tony? Brother Tony, I hear God saying that he's getting ready to um, bring forth new ideas concerning your situation. And God said the way 2003, 2004 was, God said 2005 is going to be a year of supernatural. So I hear God saying, get ready for what he's about to do. Get ready because God is making the whole and complete. And God said, stop worrying about the family because God said, all shall be well in this year. But I also see something happening with a job situation or something. But God said, be at peace and know that he has already undertook that which is needed. Amen. Receive that right now, Tony. And I tell you one thing, God is moving. All the lines have been lit up. Call. If you got um, answering service or you didn't get through, amen, I want you to call back. Call back. There's people waiting by the phone right now. Two and two. Whoever phone just went off, give me a $1,000 seed right now because we're going to make that contact. I believe that when phones go off in the service, that's a signal for you to give. Yes. <laughs> oh, glory to God. People will make sure they cut them off then, wouldn't they, Prophet? <laughs> mm. um, Prophet Hongo, we have a Janice Goss who has called in from Apex, North Carolina. Amen. A $25 seed. Um, what is the spirit telling you about Sister Janice? And before you prophesy to Sister Janice, amen, I want you right now to call 212. Use your credit card. I want you to call. I just asked you for a $25 seed. We didn't go for broke yet. We didn't ask you to, bake, to break your account. The prophet is the only one legally in Scripture. The apostles and prophets are the only one legally in Scripture that has the ability to take you to the point where you go for broke. Why? Because they know the results that will come. In the book of Acts, the Bible said they laid houses, lands, fields at the apostles' feet, and then there was no lack among them. The thing about it is when you touch a prophetic visitation and you give supernaturally, there will be no lack among you after you've given. Now the prophets here, we're just warming up. Amen. But tonight's going to be intense. And if you, those of you that are just walking in, you may not, I mean, will promise to participate with that and, 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 and do that if someone comes sit next to you. Amen. How many? Come on. I'm just trying to get all y'all to believe the prophet. How many would do that? Raise your hand. Okay. Now I'm going to see how good you are. We got two people just walk in. They don't know what's going on. I'm going to see, can you obey the prophet and get them to walk up here independently without us having to say anything? I want to see how I'm going to watch them sit next to you. I'm going to keep an eye on you. And every so often I'm going to look at you when they don't move. I'm going to look at you and say, mentally, telepathically, why didn't you get them on their feet yet? And you're going to have to get to the point where you're going to sit there and say, go on up there and walk there now. The bishop is waiting for you. You may have to even go as far as says, you know, he called your name earlier. That you had to put a $25 seed up there. Amen. All right, amen. Prophets, everyone say something? Yes, Your Grace. Um, the offering, the seed is so important because in Scripture, we see that um, the prophet had the only, had the right or the ability to ask for seed. We don't see this with the priest or the Levite. You brought the offering into the temple. You brought the offering or your tithes into the temple. But in Scripture, we see that the prophet, the man of God, had the right to say, give it to me. Give me what you have. You don't see that in Scripture with the Levi or with the priests and everything. So the prophet has a right and has the anointing to ask for that, what you think you don't have. And it is Scripture. Right. It's like the priests only received the tithes yes. and the offering. But the prophet took them beyond. See, see that was another level. It was another, another step. Right. There really was no miracles among the priests. No, there were not. But when you want to walk into the supernatural, into the next realm, 
the prophet comes to take you to that next realm. But as long as you're just giving your task, that's, that is your reasonable service in the earth anyway. But when you want to move to that next level, to that next um, season in life that God is calling you for, it's when you began to give to the prophet, to the man of God. That's when you began to see miracles. That's when you began to see the supernatural flow of God. My God, my God. I tell you, this is God. Now, we just asked you for a... Uh... We just asked you for a light thing, a $25 seed call right now. Amen. Okay, Prophet Hargo, Janice Goss, she's called in her $25 seed. What's the word, Lord, from Apex, North Carolina? Well, one of the uh, things I was just jotting down is uh, she's going to be at more, more at peace concerning job or work situation. Mm. Uh, dual transportation and daycare is going to work out in their favor and something around the April the 17th uh, that will fall in place for her and also uh, also um the transportation that will work out uh, in dual. It's, it's like there's um, two of them there. I wish he would call. Uh, and then there's something about uh, 615, or I guess, it, I guess it would be June. Uh, April 4. Um, I'm looking for some things to begin to fall in place for her. Green. 212. 2177. So that lets me know that if folk will begin to call, that uh, there's a word that can be gotten to them. So while you're seating, you know, let uh, the prophets and the prophetess peep behind the curtain for a moment concerning your life. I'm just talking. Amen. This is tremendous. Amen. I want you to know that miracles are happening and miracles are waiting to happen for you. Today I was on the phone with my spiritual father, Reverend Ike, and I was telling him about what the great move and visitation of God that we had. And he began to do some coaching with me. And I tell you, I was really blessed. He told me to tell all you prophets and prophetess, hello. Amen. Amen. And, hello. Um, 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 he has a church up there. Amen. Thank you. Someone did their job. Let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Amen. You, you did a good job. Amen. They got that one person moving. That other person didn't move yet. And um, there's two more people coming in. I'm seeing how good you are. See, some of you don't make good evangelists. You don't make good prophets. See, see, see to me, this is a school of prophets right here. So you're giving the word of the Lord. Now listen, we're in the scripture. One of the prophets has sent one of his sons of the prophets to go and anoint someone and told him to say, thus saith the Lord. Amen. Y'all looking at me strange. See, now I'm going to go find the scripture. <laughs> I'm going to have to go find, see, y'all going to make me, I got to go open up my Bible because y'all, y'all looking at me strange. Another prophet told another prophet to go and say, thus saith the Lord. Amen. I wish I had those at, um, and, and I believe it was the prophet Elisha, amen. Oh, it, was it Gehazi? It was Gehazi he told to go? Was it Jehu? Jehu? Yeah, it's Kings. Yes, in Kings. What was, is it, Second Kings? I'm going to find it in a minute. I'm waiting for my Bible program to come up. But, but, but let's talk about that because this is what you're doing. That's the only time you have permission to talk in service here is when it's the word of the Lord. My God. And right now you're going to be prophesying to him and say, listen, since the prophet's waiting for you to do a $25 seed, he, instruct, he instructed you to do that. And go lay it up there on the altar. Amen. Okay, so see, see already I'm counting. Four people walked in, one obeyed, three kind of didn't believe the person, or either the person just kept their mouth closed and didn't say a thing. Amen. Just sat there and said, well, they get it on their own. Amen. Or you might say, well, I don't know them. Well, we don't know you either. <laughs> but we prophesy the word of the Lord to you. Amen. Um, I'm going to look for that um, scripture. Amen. Who, who, prophet, which one of y'all know, know the story? Just talk about the story, and I'll back you with the scripture. 
uh, Elisha that uh, had 